God, Maddie mumbled around her food. I miss this. It's better than sex. I nearly choked on my tongue. The last thing I needed was that word coming out of her mouth. Really don't need the details of your sex life, Maddie. I'd pretended she hadn't had one for my entire adult life. Shut up and let me have my moment of bliss. As I took her in, I froze. It was as if she'd just reached nirvana. Eyes closed, head tipped back, sheer ecstasy on her face. Maddie's eyes opened and a blush hit her cheeks. They're staring. I shoved every seductive image of Maddie from my mind. I've never seen someone go after pizza with quite that gusto. She balled her napkin and threw it at me. You're the worst. I grabbed her wrist, pulling her toward me and reaching around to tickle her side. What did you say? <laughs> she shrieked, laughter bursting out of her. But as I hit a spot along her ribs, she cried out. I froze. Matt's? She scooted away from me. Sorry, just a stitch in my side. That wasn't the sound someone made when they had a cramp. That was agony. I moved on instinct, tugging up the side of her t-shirt. Everything around me stilled. I couldn't hear anything but the blood roaring in my ears. My vision tunneled on Maddie's side. It was a kaleidoscope of colors. Blacks, purples, blues, and greens. And they were all in the shape of a boot print. My breaths came in ragged pants as rage coursed through me. Who did this? <laughs>